Sheila Sabine, and today I have the honor of being with Anato McLaughlin, five, minute, uh, five kilometers from San Miguel in his very, very eclectic, astounding art paradise. Uh. And I, why don't you describe a little bit about what you've done here? You know, this is all about artists and how you've created your house. Uh, well, from it, it's kind of metaphysical and not metaphysical, more biological. It, we call our house Casa de las Ranas, the house of the frogs. And what we inherited was a ruined tadpole. And we turned it into a princess. And we just have been adorning um, the house itself and our two and a half acre property for uh, 16 years. We have a gallery, we have uh, works in progress. It's um, very adorned, adorned is the key word. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side, yeah. We chased our pleasures here, dug our treasures there. This is all about inspiring the world, because this is what the world needs right now. In terms of you living here, what, what would you say, what kind of pearls of wisdom would you give people about art, or living in your house, or having art around you? What do you how do you value that? It's hard to put a value on it other than uh, to just do it and be in it. Um, it's the only thing I know, basically. As I told you earlier, I've been doing this since I was four or five years old, and I was always encouraged by my mother. So it's just, it's second nature to me, and I believe that we all, uh, as human beings, if we allow ourselves, we have that second nature to tap into. It's just a matter of um, awareness or boredom or whatever that, that kind of turns the key for you to, uh, you know, get it on. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is, it's just fantastic. I could spend days here. But <laughs> I spend days here. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Okay.